going to work with us today, Internet? I'm looking at you, Internet. I'm looking at you. That's an interesting cold open. Yes. I'm looking at you, Internet. Uh, I have done a lot of stuff today to try and minimize impact. So, stuff like restart computer. In the meantime, good evening, everyone, and thank you for turning into Front Row Geeks. My name is Faye Tess, and taking the driver's seat is Asher. Yo. And we're going to get to the actual intro, and then we can continue blathering about what we've done to try and make it better. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, you're not. Mm. Okay, so far, things look decent. I am going to actually show the intro again. I'm sorry about this for people that have watched this, but it's probably the best that I can do to try and get a, do a gauge. Yeah, it's a good way of seeing what's going on. Yeah. Although for some reason, hello. For some reason, I wasn't seeing us going live, so I'm refreshing, I'm closing and reopening, hoping Weird. that now it'll show up. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. That's better. Now I can see. I can see intro movie. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I, I hope I didn't lose too much interesting dialogue. I went to stand up, and my foot said, "Oh, hey, this is half of the headset cord," and then connection lost. Well, we heard it immediately. A lot of popping and staticky. So. Oh no, that was just the popcorn I'm making. Yum. Even though, here's a fun tidbit: I actually do not like popcorn. That is an interesting factoid. Why do you not like popcorn? Is it because the kernels are, de are demons? No. It's actually something a little bit simpler than that, but still kind of one of those, uh, moments. Alright. So we're in. Oh, you're just going to leave that hanging there, huh? Well, uh, to put it bluntly, basically, I, um, in middle school... I, uh, attended a, uh, a college-level anime club with one of my siblings. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, ah, eh, why not? It, it got me out of the house. Uh, my mom joined me as kind of the guardian in case there was something that she did not approve of, which was kind of really rare, I'll, uh, rare, I'll be honest. I have to ask for my personal edification. Is this a sibling I've met or the sibling I haven't? This is a sibling that you have never met. Okay. I know who you're we're talking about then. Uh, there's two siblings you've never met, so... Oh, okay. I thought that you had just the two siblings. I didn't realize I, there was three. I'm the youngest of four, so yes, uh, there's three. Mm, so... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh god, back here. Oh, that's right, it's all open. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We do not have to do that. And so far, this has been like butter. Okay, uh, just a couple of things. Uh, I actually restarted my computer earlier this week because things were acting a little weird. And I almost had a heart attack. Don't do that. Well, considering that, like, the first thing that popped up after my... Uh, computer restarted was uh, checking hard drive for uh, for driver failure. Oh. And I was sitting there going yeah. <laughs> Why do they both hate? They both hate Lil Cup. That doesn't make any sense. She's so nice and friendly. Yeah. But thankfully, um, I had an inkling, it's like I had a mini heart attack from that, but 
I think that was from me doing some weird troubleshooting on my own system with some of the drivers. Because mm -hmm. I uninstalled my network driver completely. And, re and so I did the typical, like, restart computer and... Mm. So it was checking the, vo the validity of the install. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's, that's better. I mean, that what you were starting to lead into was sounding like the beginning of a Sector Zero story. Yeah. And that's never a good story. Yeah, no, this was like, apparent, uh, apparently when I did that, I had caused some errors on the hard disk drive. Mm -hmm. And so it was like checking the validity of, uh, the validity of it, uh, checking other things about it. And it, it's like, oh God, did I kill my computer or is like my C drive dead? Which, I mean, like, I could probably bring it to a uh, computer shop and have the data recovered. But oh yeah, easily, easily. But I, I am like, eek about that. Well, for all that, for all, for all that, they actually make, and I have one of these somewhere in my stuff. Oh hey, Eric Foxy. Make... Hey Eric. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I actually. Uh, I actually have somewhere in my stuff an adapter that's essentially ostensibly for external hard uh, for turning an internal hard drive into an external. But yeah. I've used it to recover stuff off of a presumed dead hard drive before. Ah. Uh, also, cutscene time. Ironically, ironically, given who just hopped into chat, uh, <laughs> stuff that I w got onto that hard drive back when I actually knew Eric IRL. In the way back when days. Yeah. All right. Cutscene time. What's this? It's an amplifier for something. Probably for this huge equipment. It looks like it was put on later. Maybe that shady looking guy? Hey, hey, it's starting up. Isn't this a bit dangerous? It's receiving a transmission from somewhere. That's what the amplifier must be for. Shh, it's starting. And now to meet the big uh, the big bad for all of Phil Gaia. First, greetings to all corrupt officials who have inherited power with no qualifications. And all the ignorant fools who have no qualms about leading degenerate lives. This is a charming speech. This is definitely not something that was supposed to be for general population. I am, the fact also Gaia. I am the Reform Party Odessa leader, Vincefield Radamanthus. Oh, this really is for all people. It's a wow. name worth remembering. Let me state this at the start. Among those listening now are traitors. There are traitors and, among us? And that is you. Yes, you are <gasps> sus. <gasps> but I'm never sus. I was in I was in if bed you've so not I mean, I mean your eyes. If you've not averted your eyes, you'll notice the ground is full of monsters. They are impure yeah. creatures yet. No one tries to remove them. No one tries to bring peace. Uh we're working to remove them rude <laughs> why because people are small cowardly animals we're bunny rabbits apparently 
As one who grieves the fate of Philgaia, I say this because of the traitors. We've handed the land over to the monsters. How can that be allowed to happen? My harsh comments here should be understandable? I think that's a mistranslation. We of Odessa swear an oath. A powerful nation system will be built, a national system will be built by eliminating foolish national boundaries. Hmm. Wait, that means that killing monsters, wait, Eric Foxy said the monsters were there first. That means that killing the monsters is, we're just, we're just enacting Manifest Destiny? Yeah. Ugh. We are fundamentally diff- Oh, too late now. We'll start with those three countries. First, we'll hammer Mary Bull, Silvaland, and Gildgalad, and take control. Once judgment is passed, your relatives' blood will spill, and you'll hear their cry. But who can intelligently refute my resolutions? Uh, a lot of us? This is a rite of passage to make the future ours. It is a burial. Yes, it is a burial for a new creation. For the new era, judgment will be passed on the system which carries the old ways. To all who sympathize with Odessa's ideals, come join Vincefield. The blood we will spill together will be purify the tainted earth and form the bonds of tomorrow's Philgaia. Sorry about that, Eric. <laughs> oh. There are those who criticize Odessa's acts as extreme. They spout malicious gossip. I'm are... okay with Dub being modded, but not when it's against NPCs that are being done. We are prepared to stop it all. This is because we operate under the right principles. The governing nation of Odessa will rise up from the rubble of ashes and dust. Welcoming the leader who promises the next era is an honor and blessing bestowed upon you. And that's the end of that. Because Brad is breaking the machine. A clandestine broadcast. They're mocking us. Besides, the empathite transmitters, the mirrors, the glass, and water were all affected by the hijack. Well, if that's the big bad, uh, something tells me that's going to be the finale of Act 3, where we get to punch his face. Probably. That's... They use the telepath tower to send their terrorist message throughout Philgaia. What's that? Uh-oh. Boss purple! Oh. The command was to destroy the amplifier. Missed that. Here it comes! And... Mysterious Phantom Bean? Fajesta! Something tells me the bulb hands are going to be the, uh, the ad target. 
Oh yeah. So, welcome to Vegesta, who... I didn't realize this until probably like maybe two weeks ago? Eric? Hey, Vegesta, what does the scatter <laughs> say about the Slapped. Slapped. But no, apparently I found this out because like somebody uh, like on one of the discords I'm part of, uh, they have a tokusatsu channel. Apparently, Vegesta is a shout out to an Ultraman monster uh, alien. Oh, cool. So we have the right claw, claw, <laughs> and left claw. Also, no, I am not defeating this in the name of defeating all of the gays, but... Oh, man, I feel bad for saying that now. Sorry, everybody. Because of the rainbows. It's rainbows. No, that, doesn't make him, that doesn't make him aligned with us. That just means that he's stealing our uh, he's stealing our space. He's that appropriating he's, your culture. He, yeah, he's appropriating. Also, head tickle. So let's actually. I'm gonna analyze bits and then just see if we have anything that works against him. Right, level 11. Unknown. Oh, right, bosses are un uh, are always just going to give unknown attributes. Hmm. Even HP? Even HP. Ugh. That makes scan infinitely less useful than it should be. Yeah, this is the, uh, like, this is the era where, like, scan used on bosses doesn't tell you a lot about it, which annoys the shit out of me. And with good reason. I mean, it's not like some games where it's like, oh, you use scan, so you know everything about this person, and you... So... I mean, I'm not saying that we need to know every damn thing about it. Yeah. But, throw us a frickin' bone. Oh no, not a head tickle to Lilka! Yee <laughs> Oh god, that's actually dangerous to her. And hand down! Poke. Nice. Poke. I'm actually not that far behind for once. You said hand down, and I saw the flame destroy the hand about 15 seconds apart. It's actually pretty good. Oh no! Disease cloud. Oh, oh no! It it, it's so unfortunate that they're F that they're about to go Kong Green any second now. Uh, no, it it only hit the one person oh. that. It only hit the one person who's actually using it, their FP. Well, you don't use it, use it, but she is nowhere close to dealing with it, so. All right. Brad is ready, we're gonna do a lock on, and we're gonna use a pineapple. And Ashley is now. I feel like using a pineapple is actually almost a waste. As of right uh, as of right now, a pine Wait, medicine oh right. Uh, Lilka is faster than Ashley at this point. Yep. So, it's kind of sad to say this, but a pineapple is, uh, it is kind of a waste, but it's, as a heads up, it's just as strong as a, um, 
Ashley, Ashley, Accelerator. We're gonna do. Actually, let's show off Multi Blast to Vegesta. Little cat, please heal yourself. Red, lock on uh, Pineapple, Vegesta. Uh, but yeah, as I said, the Pineapple is good against groups of enemies. Uh, and that's where the A, B, and C stuff comes in. Since these are like right claw A, left claw A, it doesn't hit all of them. And that's a problem. Yeah, that's why I was saying that the Pineapple was kind of a waste because it was because you were using it only on the one hand. Yeah. But it's just as strong as the oh, yay. Bazooka. Oh, yeah, is diseased again. Right before she heals herself. Yeah. Uh, Lilka, let, let's do flame on that. Actually, Lilka, Mystic, Medicine, Bread. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea at all. But yep, Mystic makes uh, Mystic operates pretty much the exact same way it did in the first game. In that it AOE's an item. AOE's an item that if it isn't already an AOE, makes it so much more worthwhile at the cost of the item, unless it's something like a piece of gear. So, Ashley, Wilka, please in heal your... In which case, mysticking a piece of gear works like the draw out in Palm Fantasy Tactics if you're familiar with that game. Yeah. Oh boy! Distortion. Uh. Sorry, this is going to do. possibly cause some people to have problems. Because he's actually supposed to be uh, flashing through the various weird colors. And. Which he is. But the problem is that the, distor uh, the distortion, he's supposed to actually turn very translucent and then flash through the colors. Which basically, it just made him uh, melee immune to that round from what I saw. Uh, it made him, compl it made him, uh, you couldn't hit him uh, outside of magic. Yeah, that's what I said, melee immune. Yeah. Poison bubble! And Lilka is fine. Yeah, she took a little teeny bit of damage, but that was nowhere near as bad as the um, head slap earlier. The head tickle? Yeah. Accelerator. Yeah, Alright, let's do shot weapon. Lilka. Uh, let's do flame. Brad. Just keep punching it. Life Returner! Oh. Nope. We're not allowing that, good sir. Oof. Oh, it was just a heal, though. It wasn't a steel. He steel. Yeah, it was just a heal, though. Uh, which you have mostly gotten rid of with the flame, and then fully gotten rid of with the bread punch. And Bazooker his face. Because he's going to do Life Returner. Again. That's okay. As long as Ashley and Brad keep up the damage, it's a war of attrition. You're still yep. hurting him more than he's healing. Yep. And since he's not attacking, that means Lilka can join in and really do more damage than he's healing. Yep. And uh, uh, actually looking at it, Bazooka does a little bit more than a pineapple. Yep, it definitely did. About 70 more. 
Almost as if Pineapple was a waste on single target. Hmm, who would have said that though? Yeah. Uh, let's see how Ice does. Uh, ten point. That's within RNG, uh, RNG damage ranges of each other. And Ashley gets it with a con green. Nice. Squeesh. Plus, also the con green, if it hadn't gotten it, would have also gotten rid of the disease. Finally! Finally got them, you fucking bastards! Uh, okay. Two lucky cards. Yay. So guess what we're going to be doing during all boss battles now, once we have these boys? Using lucky cards because they improve your everything? They double the experience and money. The jello. The jello. I, I can't just do nothing. I just can't do nothing. Let's return to Damson and explain the situation to the engineers at, tele uh, at Telepath Tower. I'm I... sorry, I still like my uh, protagonist's voice better for him. Yeah. And I think they they put that wrong. It should be the engineers of Teleport uh, Telepath Tower, not at Telepath Tower, because you're already at Telepath Tower. Yeah, of would make more sense. Yeah. I mean, if it was, if it was, if you were reading the script uh, without seeing the game, I could see it making sense to write at, because it makes sense that you're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. But yeah, go back to Damson and talk to the Telepath Tower engineers. Yeah. Or the engineers of Telepath Tower. But yeah. Weirdly enough, most of our levels are going to be done, uh, gotten via boss fight, funny enough. So. I'm guessing that's because the trash mobs don't have drop that much XP. The, uh, later parts in the game, the trash mobs drop minimal. You barely get anything out of them. So at that point, you might as well just freaking run from fights. Yeah. Unless you need jello or you need the items. But then again, there's also better ways of getting Jello. Gella. Ah! I know what we have to do. We must make sure Telepath Tower's Empathite can't be used for a clandestine broadcast. Why are they calling it a clandestine broadcast? It's propaganda. Yeah, clandestine is how it's being connected to, but not the broadcast itself. The broadcast is very much open face. Yeah. Don't worry. And this time, broadcast makes it sound like they're using it to pass spy messages. Yeah. Don't worry about that now. I'm more worried about the terrorists. Do something. Yeah. That's the other thing, is I don't know if I would go with the word terrorist for them. Like, I mean, I don't know if I would count this as terrorism. This is more like an insurgency. They're insurgents. Uh... Or they're not insurgents, even. They're... I mean, it's a coup. It's a flat-out coup. Well, that that's the thing, is that so far we've only been operating within the Mary Bull. Uh, I'm not sure... Uh, or Boulay. I'm not sure how you'd want to pronounce that. I, I've always... Probably Boulay. Boulay, because it's B-O-U-L-E. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of thought... Uh, I looked at it with kind of the like French-type tr uh, pronunciation, so that's why I went Mary Bull. Um, but, uh, it's one of those things. But, no, they technically are terrorists because we have multiple governments here, and they're against all of them. But they were trying to incite terror in people. Anyway. Because the terrorists use their Tepa Tower for their broadcast, does that make our family responsible? I mean, no, no, but... This is undeniable. Now those rats are using the telepath tower for their own purposes. Not just the tower, either. I hope they don't use booty call for their misdeeds. You, sir, don't have to worry about... Bo oh, yeah, we should probably do booty call in places now. Oh, booty yeah, I... I... 
I, when you said booty call for misdeeds, I was like, that's what it sounded like, but what? Oh, right, right, right. Ah, hey. Hey, you. Wait, wait, I say. I take it you wish to capture those vile terrorists? If you do, you'll listen to me with the utmost care. We're in a hurry. Catch us next time. You don't seem to know your place in the world, little girl. Lilka. Do you, uh, do you know anything about them? I saw a gullwing class plane flying east from here. As far as I know, no country has used that type of flying machine since the Slayheim Liberation Army. So, you should be able to figure out the rest. Is it Odessa? The terrorist organization? But why would you know so much about such things? And why would you give us the information to us? Wait, before that, who are you? I can't believe how stupid you are, Ashley. Beware the ultraviolet rays. I'll tell you my face and name from within the pr protective costume. Weird? You should also, remember. I, totally, I need to go back to something that was said and totally call out Squeenix. <laughs> really? You're going to steal Gull Wings for Final Fantasy X-2? Or no, I, was it 10 or as well, or just 10 2 I think it was 10 2 because in 10 it wasn't... I know it was definitely 10 2 but I just didn't remember if it was 10 as well. Yeah, I don't. 10, it was a different uh, machine, but uh, it was definitely 10 2 yeah, they just they stole that. I'm I'm I don't care if that's a fairly easy name to come up with. They stole it. Also, we are naming this poor uh, this poor uh, this uh, mysterious girl, and her name is Maravel. And that picture will not be seen for quite a while. Trust me on this. I mean, okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Well, do you remember Ashley? Not really. And. How do you know my name? So, you don't remember, huh? Well, I guess you wouldn't. Oh well, it's not a big deal, I guess. I'll leave the other matter up to you. Whoop. And... And now we need to call. It's me. From Damson, where are you? Is this about the flying machine heading east? How did you know that? I just found out here in this town. Well, what should we do? They must be the terrorists who issued the uh, communique. Odessa. They must have tampered with the telepath tower somehow and are trying to get away. Your next mission is stop Odessa in their tracks immediately. Understood. One more thing. Although I am a commander of arms, I want you, Ashley, to take command when the time comes to fight. Me? Lead the attack? That's right. After all, you're the team leader. Yes, sir. I will commence the pursuit of Odessa at once. After I booty call this town. <laughs> Every time. But yep, sad to say they changed uh, radar to booty call. <gasps> Yay, Mystic Word! We finally have Loka, uh, the better uh, gear slash accessory item for Loka, the book, Mystic Word, which ups her sorcery and magic resistance uh, by five point. Uh, five points and three points, respectively. Also, the reason why she didn't get poisoned is because we gave her the Moonstone. Ah. And I 
Nope, there's no more items in this poor town. Let's check out Gallo's Pole and probably top off a couple of our items, mm -hmm. like medicine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We also need to find Mr. Ammo and restock, because we went through a couple of bazooka rounds and a couple of pineapples. And a couple of, uh, and like, a couple of shots of things. And yes, I am getting ten items of every status effect thing because wild arms kind of get it does weird stuff with the uh with the status effects is that it's not like oh hey this is status effect town it's like oh hey this random enemy does this one status effect and oh whoops you forgot to talk uh, stock up on it <laughs> It doesn't do like a Final Fantasy where, okay, we're introducing poison here. Okay, remember poison, keep that in mind. Okay, we're introducing paralyzed here. Yeah. Admittedly, um, our good friend um, did introduce us to status effects, but it was less of, eh, and more of, oh. Also, we have a crest to use. Oh. So, uh,. What magic shall we go after this time? I think we should get some lightning magic, because we already have fire and ice. Time for some lightning. Which we are keeping the standard, which is spark. And, uh, kind of like how... Yeah, let's, let's, spark, let's spark some enemies up, man. Yeah. So, spark them. the way we organize, uh, Lilka's... Uh, I'm going to do some shenanigans here and move heal and revive to top, if you don't mind. Okay, fair enough. Sorry, it's just one of those weird things where, like, I like having the heal spells almost immediate so I can blast through it. But now we need to head east, because... Really, there's nothing left here in Damson. If you left the elements in that order, I, I, okay, I'm judging you. Do you want me to change it to fire, ice, and then lightning? Yes, I do. If you're going to organize magic, I'm going to judge you if you have the elements out of order. But what happens if lightning is better than fire? <laughs> Doesn't matter. What happens okay. if Pikachu okay. comes first? <laughs> I'm okay with healing over a uh, DPS. But D a DPS has to be in the specific order. Yes, it does. You could have saved us this entire uh, interlude by not rearranging in the first place, but yeah. you made choices, so therefore I had to speak up. Also, we do have uh, at, uh, personal points. But I will hold off on using those for now, because okay. it's one of those like let's get uh, let's get a few and then uh, just so that like in case we want to do something, we can grab it. And I think you mentioned this before, but I want to I want to verify really quick, make mm -hmm. sure I remember correctly. Yep. Uh, so their starting FP is equal to their character level, correct? Correct. Okay. So right now, everybody starts with 10 FP. Get two more level 10. Yep. In two more levels, we'll be able to cast Lilka's spells, in all of her spells, immediately. Excellent. Wait, even the high spells? Uh, no. Or just all her current ones? All her current ones. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh! Mount Chug Chug. Chug Chug? Chug Chug. Correction, Mount Chug Chug. Ha! Huh. Pyramid. You feel the menace of a monster's howl. Well, can't do anything about that. Feel, I was expecting to feel the rumbling of a train going past. It's a transport tunnel to Cell uh, G region. Entry prohibited to all those without the boss symbol. 
Oh, can't go that way. So, this door. So, yep, welcome to our first in uh, interaction with our uh, big bed, Odessa. And we get a deal with spud heads. And they actually do look like potatoes. And I think these guys are weak to fire, I think? Wait, but, why are we fighting? Why are we fighting uh Lonofell? Uh oh, wind and light. Which we haven't taken yet, though. Yeah, if I remember correctly, those stat uh, the uh, those ones are wind and light. Man, I am getting a that's lot of heal berries. What? Yeah, that's not bad. I, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's like I am souped up about the fact that we actually have a stockpile. Oh, hey, look, mine carts. Well, we are in a mine. It makes sense to have mine carts in a mine. And that's why it's count uh, Mount Chug Chug. Wait, why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Oh. Okay, never mind. And we get a critical from Brad. one way and this is not the way I do not know the way this is not the way this is not the way find the way brother <laughs> you surprised them yeah <laughs> excellent and Lilka is weirdly enough our fastest character right now but it makes sense because she's the mage. Brad is the big heavy bruiser, but he's act uh, and Ashley is kind of our all rounder for now. Mm -hmm. Fair warning, we're a little less butter. It's still not. Uh, oh, okay. I spoke too soon. It's actually getting pretty bad. Um. Look. Uh. See. It's still not as bad as last week, but it's it's getting rough. It's getting choppy. Yeah. Uh, the lift has stopped. We're getting into some red skies of morning territory. Ah, the headgear, which that's uh, equipment for Ashley. Oh wait, no, that's Brad. Okay, what are you doing, game? I don't think that's the game. I'm looking at this. How's it looking so far? Still uh, smoother, smoother for sure. Yeah. Okay, excuse me while I go do something real quick.
Let's see if that... Hmm. Hmm. Minecart teetering on the edge. Whatever shall we do, Michael? Uh, knock it over. Boink. Also, why does it look like there's a bunch of gems that you just skipped? Uh, those, uh, that's because those gems heal. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, but as such, it's like since we kind of auto heal, they're really just kind of there. Decorative? Not necessarily decorative, since we still only heal about like 30%, it's still one of those... But, but largely decorative. Not, uh, no, there's something later on that we'll, uh, we'll use those for. Oh, okay. Largely decorative for now. How about that? Is that better for you? That, That's that better. For you? Okay. Is it still kind of choppy? Uh, not as bad as it was getting. It's still a teensy bit, but it's it's much smoother. Okay. Between the two versions, if I if I'm once you're typing up, I can swivel to the other one, and it's acting fine. So I think this one might be on more on Twitch's side. Yeah, this one I'm looking at it, and it's like my connection looks to be pretty stable. It is dipping down a little bit, but looking at it. It, it's one of those things of like I'm seeing like a decent uh, kilobits per second but it's got like a red signal to it which mm -hmm. hmm well we have a hole here Whee! drop down the hole down the hole But, we dropped down a minecart. We did indeed. Kick the minecart. Whee! Ow! Damn minecart. Huh, this thing is shining at me. Something stuck in the crack between the equipment. I bet if I take it out, it'll be fine. Let's let's try the lever. What a beautiful crystal! It's sparkling. If passed through a light, it'll reflect seven colors on the other side. Marina, oh wait, this is still Ashley. Marina like this uh, stuff like this. Empathite acquired. Oh. Turn the start lever to on! Click! A startup noise reverberates through the mine. The work lift is starting. So, these little pads that we've been seeing all around... Now work. Now work. Which was obviously important to unlock other areas of the mines. Yep. Skip fast the uh, battle there. Oh hey, I remember where I know where we are. Yep. This is back where we started, and now we're up. And we've got our safe crystal. And we have a uh, door that leads outside. Uh, 
Now, I'm trying to remember what this guy voiced as. Ah. What a hassle! What a losing proposition! It's dangerous here! There's a good chance terrorists are hiding in the mountains here! I already know that! Huh? That's why I said I know! This is one of... Uh, this one is... So that's what you mean. I get it now. A terrorist! Not a monster confronting humans. The thread told Ante Antonora. She said someone's been... Eh, oh, correction. God. She said someone's been following us. I haven't I introduced myself yet, have I? Well, we get a fight with one of them. Yay! Boss intro. Special Cocoitis squad member Poltomea. You can probably guess all the names of the uh, these guys. My luck stinks. Why do I have to be involved? Or I could say, you are all in luck, I mean. You've got me for an opponent. Come on, show me what you've got. Show me your moves. So... Ashley's good. Oh, they rearranged me again. Don't you love it when that happens? Come here. Right. Ashley attacks. Wilka. Analyze is not going to do anything because he's a boss. But we have our good buddy, little tiny lucky card. Mm -hmm. And it's automatically to everybody in the party. And bread. And no, we can't stack lucky cards. Of course not. That would be cheating. In three, you can. That's just gross. How dare. It, there's also a cup. Uh, there is actually an issue with that in three, but it's a different thing. Oh God, Lilka! Uh, Lilka, heal, heal thyself. Fred, punch him, punch Poltomea in the face. Wow, that was way more than half her health. But unlike other, uh, other, she's toast. Yeah. So, um. Other, uh, unlike other, oh no, not dynamite, Poltamea dynamite. Okay, Ashley. I don't check. know why you're saying why you're pronouncing it as Potomea. It's Ptolemea. Ptolemea, as in Ptolemy. The uh, what was he? Was he? He was ancient Greece. I can't remember exactly what he was. I keep wanting to say he was one of the great thinkers, but I can't remember for sure. That's because it isn't in reference to the Gre uh, Greek thinker. It's actually in reference to... Well, it's uh, the same spelling. It's the same root spelling. Yeah. Sorry, I, I keep pronouncing it because A, infected by Gundam 00, and that's one of the ship's name in it, is literally the Poltamios. But they pronounce it a little weird because A, it's Japanese trying to pronounce a Greek word with English pronunciation. I mean, like you do. Like you do. But no, this is not a scripted fight. Uh, Wild Arms rarely does scripted fights. When it does... So it's definitely possible to win this normally. It's... It's possible to win this one. It's just it's going to be it, this is probably your first tough fight because uh 
Ptolemy. Uh, basically acts like a character. Because mm -hmm. he can counterattack, he has specials. Um, and, oh, actually, Ashley, Accelerator, Shot Weapon, Rilka, Heal, Red. I know he's probably, he could probably take he's a... Right. And we're going to do a nice little bit of uh, Bazookers. But yeah, Ptolemy is going to be our first kind of, kind of tough boss. He's not bad, but yeah, he can, uh, like, if you're not ready for stuff, he can wreck your shit really fast. Well, I guess it's a good thing that you are used to this game and therefore ready for shit. Yep. So, Ashley Accelerator, Shot Weapon, Wilka... Mystic, a nice heal berry again. Brad, lock on, bazooker again. I kind of funny, funny that you're allowing me to say bazooker when it's uh, when we know it's bazooka. Yeah, I'm just taking that as you just trying to be quirky. Yeah. Whereas I know you well enough. I know you well enough to know the bazooker is uh, you being quirky and Totomea as you misreading the name. Instead of Ptolemy. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. And everybody's level 11, but we only get experience from him because Ptolemy here. Ah. If Jujeka was your opponent, you'd all be toast by now. You're very lucky by your opponent with sweet old innocent me. And we kind of get a sad victory to uh, music here. Well, it's time, isn't it? Don't want to get left behind. And we get a good look here is... Tommy here is... He's been through some fights. Missing an eye, he's got a huge scar on his chest. And we get to see the Gullwing and the other three members of uh, Kokoidus. Which, technically, we have seen most of them. Alright, cutscene time. Who are you? Listen up. We're the Odessa Special Unit. To uh, Ptolemy and his fun friends. So we're here, key user. Don't mess with me, Ptolemy. Uh, Ptolemy. Even so, are you really going to let them go? Weren't they that other group that was trespassing is Eels Vale? Are they some vigilante force from a small town? There were girls in that in their group. Uh, there were girls in their group too. Um, there's one girl in their group. One girl. Unless he's considering Ashley a girl by virtue of his name. Or because as an anime protagonist, he's a little on the uh, Andro side. Only a little bit. Yep. Should we just shoot them here on the spot? We've got time to kill them the uh, Varukisas heats up. This one I can start uh, immediately state is a mistranslation. It's actually supposed to be the Valkyrie. Oh. But, because they kind of did a little bit more direct translation with this one, we got the Varukisas instead.
No senseless killing. How many times do I have to tell you? Also, they put her as red-haired girl, but her hair in this is brown? Looks like the Varukisis is ready for departure. Let's go. Hey! Hey! I haven't finished my introduction. There's the four of us. Odessa's special Kokoidis Corps. We're broadcasting clandestinely. Since we didn't have contact, let's at least do some bold propaganda. Ha ha ha. Wait! Stretch out your arm and reach it. If you still have the strength. This voice again. Uh, also, the uh, Val uh, Varu Kisis here is actually supposed to be s really big, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Much bigger than what we're seeing right here, because yeah. what we're seeing right here is not really big. Yeah, it. if I had to put it, uh, it would be kind of close to the actual um, Gull Wing class. Mm. Also, a bunch of inner voices just passed. Whoops. Oh, who's speaking to me? Who is it? Shoot. I thought we had them, but they flew off. We can't even touch them. That's all too obvious. But it wasn't our only the enemy flying machine that got in our way. What do you mean? The border problem. Know what I mean? Now I see. Very smart. Even if we had a plane there, the border would have stopped us. There would have been trouble for violating their airspace. Only outlaws can fly wherever they want, when they want. I don't understand. Even though we're doing the right thing, why do things like that get on our way? People live by closing their hearts tight. Walls of the heart become invisible lines which divide the world. This is what borders are. Just as hearts are separated, so is one country from another. It's sad, but all we can do is work hard to change what we can. Don't fret over what you can't change. I have an idea about the matter. You all wait until preparations are complete. Let's break up for now. Ashley, don't punch the cripple. Don't punch the cripple, Ashley. Yeah, preferably not. Please, thank you. What do we do now? I don't have anything to do. I'll hang around here. Me too, I guess? Hey, Ashley, what about you? I'm going back to the town of Maria. Oh, yeah. You picked up a pretty stone. Are you going to give it to Marina? Well, yeah. I think she'll like it. Hey, will you tell me? Ashley, are you and Marina lovers? Th what, what are you talking about? Of course not. Oh, okay. Just checking. Why do you ask? Forget I asked. And now we only have Ashley in the party. I can do other things than work, you know. 
As long as you have a break, you might as well take it. Brad being the voice of reason. Hey, Ashley, where are you going? Oh, I know. I guess you're going to see Marina. Well, you ought to get going. That's our first clash with Odessa, and yes, we will be fighting all four of the special units. Oh, I'm sure. Because those are the mini-bosses. And then we have to deal with the troop, uh, their boss, Vinsfield. Oh, time to go see Marina and maybe check up on Tim, Tony, and Scott. I mean, gotta check up on that poor boy who got kidnapped and his two buddies who seem to like us for whatever reason. <laughs> Oh, hey, we are not damaged by balloons at all. <laughs> well, I mean, I would certainly freaking hope not. Hey, Tony! You too, Scott. Hey, Tim. How you guys been? Fit as a fiddle and raring to go. Of course, old Tim here has other things on his mind. Hey, Tony, don't tell him. Uh-oh. Why not? After all, he's your buddy, right? Tim is head over heels for some girl. No, you got it all wrong. Oh yeah? Says who? Alright, just settle down, both of you. I don't have time for this. All she did was talk to him, and now his head's in the clouds. I like how Scott is frantically... <laughs> Twitching and now he's facing back. I said you're wrong. I just wanted to thank her for what she did. She was nice to you. Now you have a crush on her, right? No, you don't know Jack. And knock it off already. Scott, do something about this guy, would you? In my humble opinion, Ashley is in a hurry. I'm on leave for a bit. You came back just because you're on leave? I don't think so. You, s you came to see Marina, right? Now hold on a minute, Scott. I was just... I... You should have said so, dude. I wouldn't have held you up. Don't waste your precious time. You have to see her. You got it all wrong! Marina and I, it, it's not like that between us. Let's go, dude. I know you want to see her right away. Now listen up, all of you. You've got it all wrong. I hope it works out between Ashley and Marina. You're not the aggressive type, so that girl's perfect for you. In my humble opinion, it seems Ashley is about to make a class change. Huh? A class change? What's that? <laughs> I'm not sure how they translated that. Also, return of the Vash the Stampede cameo. <laughs> Marina, I'm back. 
Is it okay to be here? Aren't you on a mission? I'm gonna leave for a while, so, you know... If I knew you were coming, I would have prepared something. That, that's okay. Marina, I have something for you. A little bit of empathite. It's very pretty. What is it? It's called empathite. They say it has the power to transmit thoughts. I don't know if this tiny piece can do that. Here. What? You mean... I want you to have it, Marina. Are you sure? That's why I came back. What do I need it for, anyway? Well, this is great. Ashley. Yeah? Thank you. Let's get a good look at that fast picture, because we might not see it for a while. And I swear this picture is supposed to be a reference to something, but I can't tell it based off of this, and it's too small to actually gauge. Well, I'm of no help whatsoever. We already know that. Yeah. Because while I'm familiar with the name Bash, the Stampede, and while I'm familiar with the work that he's from, I have not actually myself ever seen Trigon. Well, I'm t uh, there's a second picture in the bakery that also looks like it's a reference to something, but it's... Vash is... It, the the picture of Vash is actually very easily recognizable. If you've mm -hmm. actually seen one... Uh, like, seen a couple pictures of anything of Trigon. Uh, whereas the second picture that we have there... I feel like it's a reference to something, but... You're talking about the one that was in the stairwell? Yes. Yeah, that I have no clue. Yeah. Those are the chumps who attacked you guys, right? They're no match for you. Made them all black and blue. Hey, that rhymes. In my humble opinion, the terrorist group Odessa is most likely quite a large organization. Three of us are going to form the Young Arms. I hope we're as courageous as you guys. Oh, Tim. Tim, Tim, Tim. I saw him with my own eyes. I saw the terrorist leader. He's quite handsome, actually. I mean, he's not bad, but okay. Uh... It's one of those things of, like, Vincefield and, weirdly enough, uh, I've, I've forgotten his name, uh, Valeria, are both considered very handsome men. So. I wonder what nations plan to do about the terrorist group it does now. The world is plumb going crazy. I feel sorry for you youngins. Got your life ahead of you. We really haven't come back here. But there's actually more housing back here. And now it's to raid everybody's houses. Haha. <laughs> uh oh. Time for the booty call, everybody. Visiting every single house making booty calls. Ten gallon hat. Which is... At this point, probably a downgrade. An upgrade for Ashley, because it's better than the cowboy hat by five points. Oh. Wow. I'm actually surprised. Oh, this is a sad one. That broadcast appeared in my bathtub right when I was about to take a bath. Ooh. feel violated. It was horrible. So, uh, to explain a, th uh, a few things, is that when they hijack the tower to make that broadcast anything that could be used as a mirror uh, like anything that had a smooth surface so things like glass uh, water mirrors 
or anything that had a reflective surface was showing uh, Vince Field's face. Mm -hmm. Huh, we've got some three cats here. I'm gonna... I'm just like imagining like a particularly sweaty farmer with a bald head <laughs> and like watching the broadcast on his head. Yep. Also, we found a gimbal coin. Yay, that we're not going to use ever. We're going to try and avoid that as much as possible. Ever. Hey, boyfriend, don't worry about the guy in the broadcast, because you're a lot better looking. Also, I'm sorry we didn't talk to these people before, but yeah, she thinks Ashley is her boyfriend. No. No, kid, you're like six. Ashley is 17. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're starting to get some Edgar Figaro vibes going on here. I ask you. Lay holy vengeance on the evil terrorists who defile the sword cathedral. I don't know why I went Southern Baptist with that, but it worked. You probably saw the word holy and immediately pro uh, propped off of that. Yeah. So, let's go check out the item vendor, see if they've got any upgraded gear. Probably not, since this is the starting town. Probably not, yeah. And you're not that far into the story for it to have reset. Yep. So, nope. Weapon Heaven. And Heaven is spelled H-E-V-E-N. Heaven. Oof. <laughs> Weapon Heaven. Also, probably want to restock ammo... All right, we haven't done that since. Oh the snaps! Last fight, because that was just a few min minutes ago. Oh uh, snaps! We may have to come back because it only reloaded Ashley's. Uh oh. So. All oh, right. Well. We, and we I can't do cre uh, we can't uh, do crest because we don't have a crest sorceress in our party. So obviously the thing that we have to do is basically head back. Oh, here's a good one. How awful. They showed the broadcast in a bucket. There's a dignity in that. So yeah, your idea of somebody basically watching the broadcast on the back of somebody's bald head could have happened. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sweaty bald head broadcast, and it's like. What's Ew. also funny? What's also funny is that kids at a pond could have easily uh, disrupted the, the the communication, at least for them, just by skipping stones across it. Yeah, because it's got to be smooth. It's same well, thing with uh, fishers in the lake. It's got to be. Uh, it's got to be. If I remember correctly, it was basically any s semi smooth reflective. Uh, thing. So basically, tossing rocks yeah. in the lakes would have broken it. Yep, because ripples break the reflectiveness of the water surface. At least until it settles down, and then it would have started up again. But... Mm -hmm. There you are. I thought you'd be here. What's up? Why did you come together like that? We have to go back. Our next mission's been decided. Ashley... Mm, nope, actually. Oh, just the, the I, I heard the plot hook earlier. You heard uh, something about mentioning the Sword Cathedral, because they're mm -hmm. blaming the Sword Cathedral on Odessa. <laughs> Don't worry, everything will be alright, Marina. I guess so. Besides, I have the stone now. With this? Uh, with this... It'll be like I never left. Bye. And... Which means you're now going to have the ability to call Marina, I presume? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because it has to be probably keyed in. 
And since that's just kind of raw empathite, and technically it's one of those eh things. Anyway. As you can see, international cooperation is a serious problem. So, I have letters from the King of Mary Bull, uh, Boulay, asking for permission to operate in other countries. Silverland is friendly with Mary Bull, so we will go there first. Your next mission is to take this letter to the Queen of Silverland. How do we get to Silverland from here? Use the life energy transporter called the Live Reflector. Hey, hey, hey! Guess what's returned? The Live Reflector? You mean the Lost Technology? There's an old reflector southwest of here. I want you to get all to try and get it working again. And so you're here away to Silverland. Hmm. In other words, we are on our own. That's one way of putting it. I guess so? And where do we take the all-important letter? Silverland Castle is located in the center of Sylvan Woods. It's straight outside the live reflector. You won't have any trouble finding it. However, you could be attacked by Odessa. Whatever happens, you must deliver the letter. We have letter. And now we can go... and do some stuff, like... <coughs> sorry. Uh, essentially, uh, update our magic list. Before heading off and dealing with the uh, ri uh, live reflector. Mm -hmm. And also restock uh, Ashley's... Or not Ashley, uh, Brad's arm. Brad's, uh, Brad's arms, yes. And do you want to try and do personal skills or hold off for a bit more? Uh, I don't know. Do you think that there's going to be anything worthwhile to grab right now? Uh, let's see here. Status. Because now we're two points up from where we were when we started today. Uh, we have a total of five points for Ashley, four points for Brad, and five points for Lilka. Uh, we can... So there's probably some stuff we can do. Yeah. So, do we want to save it up or kind of look uh, around for stuff? Well, yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look and see if there's anything worthwhile. After restocking of arms. Of course. And after grabbing the next crest. Yep. Uh, for the next spell, what spell shall we grab? Well... Uh, do we have access to some wind magic? Yes, we do. Perhaps we should do that next. Wind. And we get Vortex. PSS. Personal Skills uh, Store. Alright, so, uh, let's take a look at Ashley. So, since we have five points, uh, we can do another HP up. Uh, we could technically do up parameters when force level goes up. Um, we can do counter, we can do critical, we can do another convert HP. Um, you said every point of convert HP is always three, right? Uh, convert HP is all, uh, all these points, like the ones that it says like required, will always stay the same no matter how many uh, pips there are. So it's like ah kind of... okay. So if it's two, it's then two two two. If it's four, it's four four four. Correct. Okay. Um. 
And I know cut FP uses something we're going to maybe want a little bit later, but not now. Not now. Uh, and then you said up parameters, it triggers when force level goes up? Yes. Does that mean that when he spends force, it goes back down? Yes, sadly. So that's going to be one of those where, uh, there for certain uh, for certain aspects, it's it's almost more worth it to keep him at one hundred. Yeah. Hmm. The only thing I don't like about that is the fact that it does limit your flexibility in combat because it makes yeah. you have to choose between A and B. Yeah. Um, let's, since he is the balance, what about, what about a P attack, a physical attack? Uh, a P attack, uh, that's four points, so. Is it worth it? Uh, I'd say it's pretty, de uh, pretty decent worth it. Let's go ahead and take that for him. Okay. All right. Uh, Brad has four. Okay. Um... This one, I would actually recommend doing a parameter for him. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's do it then. Okay. The reason why I suggest doing up parameter versus up HP is that, for the most part, we're going to try and conserve Brad's arms until he's literally at con, uh, at con green, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. So. so even if he falls down, he is going to fall to three and then back up to four, and the three and back up to four. Pretty much, yes. And whatever gained parameters he would have from going up to four, that's going to be his attack power when he fires yep. the, at four, and then it goes down. Correct. Okay. Yeah, no, that's not terrible, then. Okay. Uh, and for Lilka, uh, she has five. So, uh, we can... I'm wondering about maybe upping her M attack. Uh, M attack is actually three points, funny enough. Hmm, nice. So... And then we can find something to do with the other two. Yep. So, M attack, yes? Yeah, let's do M attack. Because that is also going to boost your healing potency, right? Right. Yeah. Um, do we want to finally get into certain things, like down here That's in the... Status. Like in status effects? Uh, how much is it for mute protection? Uh, that would be. Or is there a mute protection? Because I'm not seeing one. I don't remember if it's. To abil uh, this would be blocking. Ups resistance to ability blocking, aka mute. Okay. I, um, it and then are, are they all one pointers? All of them are one pointers. Yes. Let's go ahead and give her one in blocking and one in disease then. Okay. Right. And we still have one points for uh, in Ashley. Did we want to spend that one or just save it up a bit? Uh, let's go ahead and give him the one in disease as well, just to be safe. Okay. Ideally, I'd like to be able to get all the statuses to three, because while having items is nice, not needing them is even better. Yeah, but as you can see, uh, certain things ta uh, technically take priority. Of course, obviously. Yeah, and trust me, uh, when we get uh, to a certain level, I will basically just outright state, okay, now's the time we're just going to completely... Just burn. Just fucking burn. We're just going to burn, burn it all burn it all for forgetful because I don't like dealing with that status effect. Because you remember what I said forgetful was, right? I don't. You don't earn any EXP at the end oh, of battle. Oh, right. Gross. Yeah, no. That's, that's bullshit. <laughs> and I guarantee there's going to be bosses that use it. There's going to be at least one boss that uses it and right before it dies. Not bosses per se, but a lot of the late game mob enemies will do well, it I to mean, you. Well, I mean, already said that they're minimal at best anyways, but yeah. some status effects do carry over. I don't know if Forgetful's one of them, so... 
Um, kind of. But, hey, look, the live reflector. Also, sorry for the craziness. This is just the emulator being weird. Oh, you're talking about the fact you turned into a ghost when you entered the forest? Yep. There's evidence that someone broke in here. Uh -oh. Who who else would come here besides us? It has to be. I wonder if it's those terrorists from before. Hmm. It could be the Odessa. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's hurry. But keep your guard up. And... No. No, it's not. Hey. Uh -oh. You guys, what are you doing here? Exploring, of course. I've said that when I grow up, I'll be strong like you, dude. You're so stupid, Tony. Turn back right now. You already know, don't you? It's dangerous here. In my humble opinion, there's something wrong about sending us back alone when it's so dangerous. The way you're speaking isn't very cute at all. Oops, I got scolded by an older woman. What? <laughs> Is that really the phrasing? Yeah, that is the exact phrase. Oof. I'm pretty sure Scott is actually 13, and Lilka is supposed to be 16 or 17. That's a big oof da. <laughs> then who got here before us? It's probably these, uh, those kids. So, what are you going to do? We have no choice. We'll have to protect them. They'll have to come with us until the mission is finished. Darn. You don't trust us much. In reality, we got this far on our own strength. In, In reality, if Odessa's here, your dumbasses are going to get kidnapped and probably killed. So maybe don't think that you're cocky little assholes. <laughs> In my humble opinion, it wasn't our own strength, but the strength of Tim. In my humble opinion, anyone who says in my humble opinion every fucking sentence is not very humble. Yeah. Well, remember, he's... Tony is supposed to be based off of Tony Stark, and Scott is supposed to be after Scott Summers. Um, and I actually did find pictures of both Tony and uh, Scott. Mm -hmm. Or at least people's renditions of them. Oh, well. Well, we continue on. Because that's the mission. And press buttons. Here's the operating display. Okay, I'm going to start up the live reflectors. And Zord. What? What? This is so disheartening. Uh oh. It looks like something's coming out there. Is it a monster? P.S. As a heads up, purple glowy lights equals boss monsters. Mm hmm. It's kind of sad, but this literally becomes a wild arm staple <laughs> of purple flames or purple anything that looks like a light source becomes a monster. So, welcome to the next boss fight, everybody. And... If it wasn't for the storyline and exploration in between, this is practically a boss rush. Thunderbolt Battle Monster Elabart. 
and uh, this guy is yes. also uh, this guy is also a reference to Ultraman. <laughs> And in my, 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 in my humble opinion, rather than a monster, it would be a most appropriate for it to be called a creature. Are you afraid, Scott? You've changed the way you talk. No time for that. We've got to get away. It's dangerous here. Ashley! Ah! Hey, stand back! Okay, let's go. Despite your baby face, you've got guts. It's not that. Alright. And now we can get serious, because the kids are out of the room. Yep. And so we have a left claw and a right claw again. I'm surprised once again that they're referring to them as claws when they don't look at them particularly claw-like. Yeah. I think it's one of those weird translation things. It's basically trying to be like left hand, right hand, but it's trying to make it more monstrous sounding. Yeah. Oh no! Stun gun blow! Oh, that does not sound good. Do we plan on paralysis? Uh, as you can guess, it does have a low chance of paralysis. Thankfully, it's low. Also, we don't actually have good magic for this guy. Because, guess what he's probably weak against? Oh, he's probably weak to stone, isn't he? He's weak to earth, yes. Damn it. I was about to say, uh, I was about to say an earth attack instead of the wind attack too, and then I just stuck the wind. Yep. But, yeah. Also, at some point we do need to get Lilica an essence spell. Yep. Admittedly, we don't have access to the proper s because we have... Oh yeah, because that's a high magic. Elebalt Corridor. And we've got one hand down. Also, we should probably... Uh, do we want to save the... Uh... Lucky card, or do we want to use it? I'd say save it for now. I don't know how rare. So far, they've been pretty damn rare this playthrough. Yeah. Uh, I will state that I do know of a rough spot of when we can start getting lucky cards. Because there is a like monster. On basis. Uh, it is an item stealable from an enemy that's on the overworld in an area that's pretty easy to take care of those enemies. Okay. So once we get to that point, we can 99 it and not worry about it anymore. Yep. Oh, did you have Ashley um, uh, accelerate? Uh, no, I didn't. I should have. Uh, darn, I thought I said it fast enough, soon enough for you to uh, make a difference. Yep. Oh well. But, as we notice, Brad is now doing, instead of like 200 points of damage, is now doing about 240 points of damage. Mm -hmm. so. And that was when he was at tier 3. Yep. Back when he was at tier 3 side. Now he's the legendary fable tier 4. Yep. And we're just gonna have Brad punch it and see what it looks like. Okay, and... 
Okay, since we fought the hands, uh, 240 is kind of okay. Yeah, I presumed that the body piece would have higher defense. It probably would have been around 260 to the hand. Yeah. So, well, it's only the first pip. But let's see... Well, I'm saying because it was, it was up to 240 at 3. Ah. From 200 at 0. Oh. So I was thinking like 250 to 260. Yep. Oh, well, let's see how uh, how much a bazooka shot lock-on will do. Oh, probably quite a bit more, yes. So, when he did it went, uh, to Ptolemy, it was about like 550 a shot. 621. Which is part the level up and part the... The, the stats up. Yep. Uh, the lock on and that. Well, the lock on was already in the total. Right, so. Yeah. And two forty eight. Let's try Vortex against Elabart. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh. Oh, yeah, he is. He is strong against the wind. Oh, that was a cute little hooky hook. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. 656. For a bazooka in the stomach. Mm -hmm. And 20. And, and 2800 per level up and two strength apples. Nice. So, so we could have actually gotten 48 uh, or 56, 56 out of this fight. Technically, we do have a random chance of getting uh, lucky cards from random battles, mm -hmm. but it's a super low chance. Um, it seems those guys siphoned energy from the power reactor. Then we should be okay, right? Vroom. It's not working. It's like there's no power at all. It's because of that monster? Hey, not moving? If so, can't we just give it some energy? But what do live reflectors run on? Tim, stop shining! Wow. We were able to get here because of this mysterious power. Tim? What is this power? I don't understand it either, but... But... The amulet my mother left me. Medium. The Guardian of Life, the Odoryuk Medium, is opening up. Ah, Tim, no! Ah! Tim, Tim! Ah. Thanks to you, the power react uh, the power reactor has been revived. But that power. What is it? Friendship. My mother told me that the medium's power is concealed. I wonder if that's it. Thank you very much. I'm fine now. Ashley, aren't you in the middle of a mission? Better hurry. Um, but... 
but... Hey, don't worry, dude. Leave Tim to me. Besides, that light will protect me. Getting back to the town of Mary here is easy. We're off schedule. The Silverland ruling family. We can't get there any later. When this mission's over, I'll be home immediately. Don't do anything like this while we're still away. Power poses. We get the message. While you're away, we, the Young Arms, will maintain peace in the town of Maria. That's what I'm warning you against. <laughs> no, no, no. Maintain peace inside the city walls. <laughs> That's your fine. Little, little Star and Yamagate uh, parading around inside the city. Yeah. Don't worry so much, okay? You'll make me lose confidence. In my humble opinion, hurrying up would be a very good idea. The medium's illumination will protect us all. It's fine. Probably. So, uh, we actually have three things. Mary Bull, uh, Silverland Control, Sacred Forest. Silverland Control, Dragon's Vein. Silverland Control, Ruins Mine. We need the Mary Bull, Silverland Control, Sacred Forest. And, well, oh! Well, sense because it's the only one in the area we're going to. And you remember us getting tossed up into the satellites? Oh god, that's right. If that's what I that's why I should have remembered these. Wait. Also, that is one sweet earth. <laughs> Actually looks like round. A it's round. Also? Also, you just got beamed into Mexico. <laughs> yes. All right, trying to remember what I voiced Kana with. Ah, now I remember. And the Varukesis is now fully equipped. When considering the energy expenditure of take takeoffs, frequent use is impossible. Our most serious enemy now is probably financial. For one who's considering making the world an enemy, life's hard. That's because uh, Ptolemy plant, uh, Ptolemy's plant is not operating as planned. Proceed with the report. Yes, sir. Currently, the alchemic plant is operating at above 60%. So, we do have extra energy to divert to the Var uh, Varukesis. Yes, but we still have the Heimdall Gazo to work on. So, it's not over yet. Everyone who sees the black wings of the Varukesis is overwhelmed. It's clear the flights are on an effective method to convey the menace of Odessa. Tolme, our most important task is to bring that plant to 100%, and do it as soon as possible. Yes, I'll take care of it. You do look busy, or Ptolemy, do you prefer boredom? Care to trade places? Well, how about it, Chudeka? Hmm, I think I'll pass. That's beyond my jurisdiction, so... Send only fun my way. My apologies for being late, but I have an update. Let's hear it, Antonora. Yes. The group attacking the Varukesis before takeoff has been identified as a unit called the Arms. Did you say Arms? Weren't they used in the demon summoning experiment? Yes. 
Mary Boole's special unit arms of in independent authority was annihilated when they were formed. The arms that attacked us this time were not an ordinary unit. No. We should call them the same unit. I think that's a weird translation. Because I think they meant to say a different unit rather than the same unit. So, Ptolemy here has got the right thing about it. Huh? I don't get it. Explain it again. Part of the annihilated arms were organized into a private unit. Is that clearer? Their non-alliance status... Oh. Okay, so it actually wasn't a mistranslation. That was what she meant to say. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird mistran... It's a weird mistranslation. It's a weird phrasing. It's not necessarily that the words were... It's not necessarily that the words were wrong, but rather that they were put together in a way that was confusing, which makes sense with the fact that he was like, huh? Huh? Their non-alliance status makes it appear as if they are independent. We have verified that the buyer is a low-level nobility. In other words, the arms are now a rich person's hobby. Even so, they act like they're all allies of justice. I hate that kind of stuff. It's offensive. Either way, they're no match for us now. There's no need to pay attention to. But they are worth using. If they're hostile towards us, we should just let them be so. They're allies of justice. But what will happen when they're beaten to a pulp? The masses who witness this will fear Odessa's power. They'll have no choice but to accept our power. The arms. We'll have them performing plenty of pathetic antics. We've traced their activity. They're off towards Silverland. I've been waiting for this. It's just the job for me. Judeka. Do you disapprove? So I can skip it. No, that's fine. Welcome them in as a grand as a manner of po as possible. Our enemy is our finances. That's a good one, Kana. If I spoke too freely, please excuse me. I'm not criticizing. In fact, I commend your assessment. But there's no need to be concerned. Leave the financing to me. Is it that man again? And I see we're getting very close to time. Yep, we got about five minutes left on the clock. Uh, we will probably go over a little bit because there are probably a few more cutscenes to go through. First of all, how dare... No, I'm joking. <laughs> I must hurry. Silverland Castle is in the middle of the forest. Oh, find the brightest spot in the forest. Hit search. And come in from the back entrance. And more cutscene. I have come bearing a royal letter from the King of Mary Bool. I had heard rumors, but I had no idea. A fighting force with no allegiance to any country. Very interesting indeed. But it does seem like an uh, effective way to counter Odessa, which also operates as a separate entity. And yet... 
I don't think I can accept what is written in this letter. I cannot so easily allow free access to our country's lie, Reflector. If you of arms have permission to come and go as you like, our people might come to doubt their security. After all, why should I consider you of arms any different from Odessa? Your Highness, uh, you Because we literally are different, but okay. <laughs> go off, Queen. Your Highness, you see... I know, I know, you want to defeat Odessa, as it says here. Mm -hmm. It is only reasonable for the powerless to fear the powerful. I have no guarantees that you will not begin acting like Odessa once you have free access to my country. You see my point? I see. I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot accept your proposal. Please convey that to the King of Maribool, along with my greetings. Oh, wait. It was actually Sir Valeria who proposed this, wasn't it? Only he could have come up with such an idea as novel as an independent fighting force. Please tell him to come visit me with his lovely sister. Not arms. Thus wishes the Queen of Silverland. I understand, Your Highness. I have an emergency report. Oh, please forgive me, Your Highness. Never mind, what's so important? Ah, yes. Uh, there, there's been a terrorist attack in the Silverland town of Halmets. Reports suggest that it was the terrorist band. Odessa. Your Highness. Even if we pull out a call to arms now, our knights won't be able to assemble in time. Well then, shall we see just how fast our independent fighting force is then? With pleasure. Let's go, everyone. When we meet such grave danger, nothing should keep us apart. That's the obvious conclusion, now I think about it. I wonder when it was I forgot the true strength comes from joining together. But... Your Highness, is something the matter? No, nothing. So what did you think of them? They seemed honorable to me, Your Highness. Saw no signs of ulterior motives. I believe they're simply acting for the common good. I believe you are correct. They're indeed honorable, and their desire to perfect Helgaia genuine. Of course, that is also part of what makes me nervous. Is somebody trying to say naive? So, we have Silverland Castle here, which I'm going to try and find the, uh, I did not save NPC. save NPC fast, and I trying to do something that I should hit. We'll deal with that thing later. Um. This is awful. You can't. He you can hear him snoring all in a league way. He wouldn't wake up if Odessa came and shook his hand. We will deal with that guy later. And you can probably guess how we do it, too. 
Be it upside the head? Uh, the bell. Ah, oh, okay. You're going to Hamlet's. Helmets, are you? It's far to the east of here. Never forget visual checks. And save person. I can store records of your adventure on a memory card. Actually, I always thought these guys were fe uh, these uh, save people were all female. By the way, I don't know why. And now we're all level 12, which means Loka can cast all her spells immediately. Excellent. And now to close everything out, uh, do you want me to do the honors since you did the intro this time? Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay, well, uh, as a heads up, there will not be a stream tomorrow, uh, as Eddie is currently knee-deep in tax season. Mm-hmm. And slowly flooding up to hip depth. But, uh, as such, uh, we, uh, uh, since there's no stream, you can probably try and catch, uh, uh, catch up on our podcasts. Uh, podcasts are on all available, uh, platforms. Whether it be Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or heavily recommended by us, Spootfee or Spotify. Indeed. Um, if you want to support us, best way to go about it is, of course, word of mouth. Let people know about us. Spread the word, everybody. I'm still trying to fix that bit rate, but that could have been Twitch being Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, other than that... Uh, other methods to support us is, of course, you can subscribe here on Twitch, because people's probably got leftover subscribable points. Mm -hmm. um, a much more direct method is, of course, we do have a Patreon, which is kind of still working on that one, but it's there. We also do have a Redbubble, which we're still working on the merch a lot. Um, if you just kind of want to follow along, just Follow us here on Twitch for the streams. Uh, we have a YouTube where uh, everything gets archived. Uh, as for... As well... Uh, we also have a Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for updates. And I'd say we're kind of good at this point. Maka? I believe that takes care of it, which brings us back around to next Friday, where we will be back here continuing our adventures in Fogaya. Yep. Uh, in this so case... in the meantime, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in to Front Row Geeks. Uh, we wish you a wonderful evening, and be safe out there. Night, everybody! Bye.